the enemy trying to trick you out of your spot. But don't react. Just keep pressing towards the mark. Spiritual warfare has just turned up a million. I need all my chosen ones to please stay to the very end of this video. Let me tell you something. You got everything to lose right now, chosen ones. Understand what I'm getting ready to say. You got everything to lose right now. God just gave you everything back and he gave it back double. And the devil is mad. The, the enemy, he is big mad. So he gonna jump inside of anybody to go against you so he can trick you out of your spot. Don't you ever forget you work for this position. Don't you ever forget you didn't prayed and cried I'm just, I'm saying you've been faithful over a few things and God finally made you ruler over everything. I understand what I'm saying. God finally made you ruler over many and you got to realize that the enemy, he will jump inside of anybody just to trick you out of your spot. But no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Why you think you've been getting attacked lately? Why you think, hey amen, people been lashing out at you lately is because guess what? The devil mad because he wants you to still be out here in the pit. The enemy, he wants you out here struggling. The enemy, he wants you to stoop down to these other people's levels. They ain't nothing but one hit wonders. The enemy big mad right now because guess what? God is getting ready to show out in your life. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I see why you mad, devil. I see why you mad, enemy, because God is getting ready to show out in my life. Let me tell you something. You got everything to lose right now. And the minute you react and stoop down to the enemy's level, guess what? He got you where he wants you. Use the spirit of the discernment that God has given you, chosen ones. Use the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding God has bestowed upon you. All them years you was in that pit. You got to use all that, that wisdom God had, was giving you while you was in that pit. Understand what I'm saying? And you got to realize that sometimes the enemy, believe it or not, he will jump inside of your own children. The enemy will jump inside of your own husband, your own wife to go against you. The enemy will jump inside your own co-workers. This is why co-workers, amen, are coming at you. You got to realize, children, this is a spiritual warfare battle. When are you going to finally realize we're not wrestling against flesh and blood? When are you going to finally realize that this is not a boxing match? This is not a wrestling match. This is a spiritual matchup. And it's your Holy Spirit against these people's demonic spirits. And you'd be very surprised of how many people want your spot. And the enemy know they want your spot. But guess what? They're not worthy enough to be in your shoes. They're not worthy enough to be in your position. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, even though you might have want my spot, even though you're trying to trick me out of my spot, you're not even worthy enough to be in my shoes. You're not even worthy enough to be in this position God just placed me in. Don't you be afraid to put it in the comments below because you'd be surprised at how many people want your anointing, but they will never take on your attack. You'd be surprised how many people want your gift, but guess what? They will never take on the attack that is coming against your life. Let me tell you something, chosen ones. These people, amen, that is coming against you with these last out spirits, they can't even walk a mile in your shoes. These people couldn't even survive the storms of life that you've been through. And you got to be very careful for nothing. You got to be prayerful in this season. In all things, through prayer and through supplication. Be anxious for nothing. But in all things, through prayer and through supplication. Let me tell you something, Chelsea. You better protect your peace. You better protect your energy. You better protect your sanity because I'm here to tell you right now, the enemy is trying to take away your peace. The enemy trying to take, <clears throat> take away your prosperity. Get out of my voice, devil. The enemy trying to take away everything that you and God has built together. But if you hold your peace, 
and let the Lord fight your battles. Victory shall be yours. You got to realize if you don't react to the enemy, if you don't react to these people coming at you, guess what? You're getting that much closer to your breakthrough. Could you imagine if you react to everything that the enemy throw at you? Could you imagine if you react to every demonic spirit that's coming at you? You never going to get to the promised land. You got to realize that the devil is so upset because guess what? God unrolls you up like a phoenix. You got to realize that your own family member, guess what? They mad because guess what? You the first one that broke these generational curses. This is why some of your family coming at you because guess what? They couldn't break the generational curse. So guess what? They going to get mad at you because God put you in position to break the generational curse. This is why your family, amen, is coming at you foul because guess what? They st stole your inheritance and God gave it back to you double for your good. They mad at you because you getting ready to be the first millionaire in your family. You getting ready to be the first billionaire in your family. Glory to God. And you got to realize, chosen ones, all it takes is a negative reaction. All it takes is for you to respond back to the devil and he got you where he wants you. You got to start thinking twice. Start, start moving two or three steps ahead of the devil. By standing in your prayer closet. By asking God to give you a refilling of the Holy Spirit. Why you think every day we wake up, we have to pray to God and ask God to give us a refilling of, of the Holy Spirit? Why you think every day we wake up, we got to ask God to renew our mind, to give us a peace of mind today? Because we know these spirits is coming. You mean to tell me you don't put your, 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 your sweat, your, 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 your blood, understand what I'm saying? You, you didn't put all your tears into this breakthrough and you mean to tell me that you're going to allow the enemy to win by giving him a reaction, by responding to him? Understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you what's going on. It's like every time you're trying to get to the next level, guess what? The enemy is going to throw a fiery dart to try to get you to stop you right in your tracks. He wants you to stop you and go back what you used to be. Let me tell you something. You're not there anymore. Understand what I'm saying? God brought you from a mighty long way. God brought you from the pit to the palace. Why are you trying to go right back to the pit? By responding to the enemy. By responding to these spirits coming at you. You got to learn how to fight back with prayer. Fight back by casting out demons and devils. Fight back by putting your foot on the devil's neck. And so you go back to the pits of hell. To where you belong. Because you got everything to lose. You got your purpose to lose. You got your family to lose. You got these gifts God and gave you to lose. You done got these blessings God has given you to lose. Understand what I'm saying? You got to realize that guess what? The devil, guess what? He come to kill, steal, and destroy. But God come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. Start resisting the devil so he will flee. Do not stay in the devil's territory. Do not stay, amen, in these, these Decepticons and these narcissists' uh, territory for, for too long. Do not get complacent, chosen ones. You don't want to get comfortable around the enemy. You don't want to get comfortable around these low vibrational entities. You don't want to get comfortable around these demonic spirits because guess what? Negative energy is contagious. And it will jump on you if you allow it to. Understand what I'm saying? Negative energy is contagious. And the more you around negative energy, the more you around toxic energy, it's going to rub off on you. And you're going to become just like these Decepticons that is attacking you. Why do you think they say misery loves company? Understand what I'm saying? Why you think, amen, that no matter how hard, amen, you try to get to that next level, it's something pulling you back. Seems like every time you climb that ladder of success, guess what? It's something that's pulling you down that ladder. But I'm here to tell you right now that as long as you got King Jesus, I promise you, nothing going to stop you from getting to the promised land. If you keep the faith, I mean, God just asked you to keep the faith. But if you really keep the faith, the size of a mustard seed, I promise you, you're going to make it to the destination. 
You got to realize, chosen ones, that you are more than a conqueror. You got to realize that you can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. And the devil mad because you don't realize your worth. The devil big mad because guess what? He 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 finally know that you done took a, a step into your calling. And the Bible says if you take the first step, God is going to take the next step. And you got to realize God is getting ready to perform the miracle. God is getting ready to grant you your breakthrough. God is getting ready to give you everything that your heart desire. And the devil is so mad. He trying anything in his power. He'll do any, every, any and everything in his power to stop you from receiving your breakthrough. But you got to learn how to rebuke these demons. You got to learn how to stay in your prayer closet. You got to learn how to stay out the way. Because I'm telling you right now, you done fought too hard for this. You done cried too much for this. You done weeped and mourned and asked God to give you this. And you going to let it all go to waste by stooping down to the enemy's level? You mean to tell me you're going to let all this freedom go to waste? You're going to let all this prosperity, everything God is promising you, you're going to let it all go to waste by stooping down to the enemy's level? You got to realize, chosen ones, that the enemy is attacking people. He's going inside of people to go against you. That's why we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual warfare battle that we are fighting against. We're trying to get to the next level. And, and the enemy say, hey, man, if I can attack you, I'm going to attack, hey, man, anybody that is closest to you. I'm going to jump inside anybody that you are connected to. You got to realize, chosen ones, that no matter how hard, hey, man, or how, how long you've been praying, guess what? The enemy going to come harder and harder and harder. The more you pray, the more he going to come. The more you fast, the more he going to come. The more you read your word, the more he going to come. Stop thinking the more more you pray, the more the enemy going to flee from you. He going to come harder. Every time you get on your bending knees and the minute you get off your bending knees, you got to realize that some demonic spirit going to try to come and attack you because the devil already know you're getting ready to plant. The devil already know you're getting ready, amen, to go to the next level. The devil already know that God is getting ready to plant your feet on higher ground. You got to realize that if you don't protect your energy, if you don't protect your vibes, if you don't protect that Holy Spirit, guess what? You allowing the devil to come in. You allowing these, these narcissists to come and take over. You allowing people, amen, amen, and your family to come and take over everything that God is getting ready to do for you. Don't you let nobody take your spot. Don't you let nobody take your position. Because you don't work too hard for this. Don't you let nobody take you off of your purpose. Because let me tell you something. You are getting ready to take off to the next level. And as long as you got King Jesus, as long as you got God on your side, let me tell you something. You're going to remain undefeated. So don't forget, you got everything to lose right now. I don't know who this message is for, but you got everything to lose. And you came too far to give up now. You didn't came too far to react to the enemy's level. You are now listening to Katano. This is why you've been getting attacked lately, chosen ones. This is why people are coming at you foul for no reason at all. It's because you are going to the next level. And each and every new level is going to require a new devil. This is why you have to put on the whole arm of God because these blessings is on its way, baby. That miracle is on its way. That breakthrough is on its way. So you got to realize that the devil, he going to try everything in his power to pull you back where you used to be. He wants you to respond how you used to respond. He wants you to cuss people out how you used to cuss people out. But you got to realize that as long as you got the Holy Spirit in you, guess what? You will never go back. Don't you be afraid to put it comments below and say, as long as I have the Holy Spirit that's on the inside of me, I will never go back to what I used to be. As long as I got, you know, stayed on my mind, as long as I got Jesus Christ on my mind, I will never go back to what I used to be. Understand what I'm saying, chosen ones. So I don't know who this message is for, but you got to be very careful because the enemy is trying to trick you at your spot. I know a lot of people are saying they trying to trick you at your spot, but no, the enemy is trying to trick you at your spot.
People can't trick you out of your spot unless you allow the enemy to, to that's working inside of them to take you up out of your spot and take you out of your position, to take you off of your high frequency. It's the enemy that's working inside of people. You got to realize that this is just an outer shell. This is just an outer shell. When your body land in that casket, guess what? That ain't nothing but an outer shell. It's the spirit that goes up. Either your spirit going up or your spirit is going down. Understand what I'm saying, baby? And you got to protect your Holy Spirit if you want to get to the next level. You got to be wise as a serpent and, and, and harmless as a dove, children. Because I'm telling you right now, your miracle is on the way, baby. Be quick to hear but slow to speak. Start practicing that when you get around certain people. Start practicing that when you get around certain family members, certain friends. You ain't got to say every, any and everything just for your energy can be felt. You ain't got to prove a point so your energy can be felt. You ain't got to give people your, all your kindness so your energy can be felt. People know who you are. People know what you're about. Remain humble in this season. I promise you, you're going to get to the promised land. Understand what I'm saying? And don't you dare let nobody trick you out of your spot because you don't work too hard for this position. Don't you forget what God giveth, God can also take it away. Don't you forget what God giveth, the devil is lurking to take away. You got to pay attention to what's going on. Understand what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you right now, God is getting ready to do a new thing in your life and the enemy is big man. I don't know who this message is for. Co-workers been attacking you. Your family been attacking you. So-called friends been attacking you. I'm telling you what's going on. Seems like every time, hey amen, you turn around, somebody coming at you with a demonic spirit. Somebody lashing out at you for no reason at all. Don't, don't got nothing to deal with you. They attacking you because you know why? They big mad and they hating on you because you done made it to the next level. You ain't did nothing to nobody. All you was doing was growing and healing and people are mad because you're not stagnant anymore. People are big mad because you're not lost anymore. You once was lost, but now you found. You once was blind, but now you see. Understand what I'm saying? And you got to realize that God gave you the anointing. God gave you the calling. God gave you the gifts. God gave you everything. He gave you the key to prosperity. You got everything. So guess what? You ain't got to react to these people. You ain't got to react to the enemy. Because guess what? Everything is in your hands. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I ain't got to stoop down to your level. I ain't got to react to what, you, what you're trying to do to me because I got everything in my hand. I got all power in my hands. Charles. Do you know how powerful you are? Do you know how powerful your silence is? Do you know how powerful your Holy Spirit is? You ain't got to prove a point to people. Just stay humble in this season. Just stay modest in this season. Keep your eyes on the prize, baby. Because I'm telling you right now, the enemy is lurking. He is lurking and seeking to whom he may devour in this season. I'm talking about spiritual warfare has turned up a million. I'm talking about I ain't never seen spiritual warfare like this before in my life. And how do I know? Because God has taken me to the next level. Just know when people are coming at you, they're attacking you for no reason at all. They're taking their problems out on you for no reason at all. Just no chosen ones. Just know without a shadow of a doubt, you just leveled up. If you've been attacked lately for no reason at all, people are attacking your spirit. They're attacking you at every angle. They're coming at you jealous and, and having hatred towards you. And you ain't did nothing to nobody. Just know you done leveled up. Just know God is getting ready to take you to a totally new dimension. God telling you to pack your bags. You getting ready to move to a totally new dimension. God is getting ready to walk you right past the people that told you that you can't. Because you can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. And a lot of people wish you were still out here lost. A lot of people wish you were still out here struggling. A lot of people wish you were still out here in that pit. But let me tell you something. God unrolled you up from that pit and he done placed you in the palace. And let me tell you something. Don't you lose your spot for nobody. We the chosen ones.